Where am I gonna find a soapbox around here? Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Welcome back to another episode of Huge Fly Fisherman. Today's video is about floating etiquette, the unofficial rules of floating the river. You might disagree with some of the things I'm about to say, and I don't care. This is the right way to do it. If that makes you angry, go check out my other etiquette videos. You might be even more angry. Lots of new folks are out there on the river this year, and some of you don't know what you're doing. Well, I'm here to help you not look like an idiot. So put away your pride and listen up. We're out here using public resources. It can be crowded, people get upset. If you follow the rules of the river, we can all get along and have a good time. All right, so let's get into it. You don't have to write all this down. You can just watch the video again. It all starts at the boat ramp. I made a whole video about this. It's right here, but I'll mention a couple key points right now. Don't rig your boat on the ramp, spend as little time as possible on the ramp, and after you put your boat in the water, move it way over to the side. Don't just put your boat next to the ramp so the next guy has to move his boat around yours. Move your boat out of the way. So when you're floating the river, you need to give people space. There are a lot of layers to this one. Let's start with wading anglers. If you're floating past wading anglers, give them as much room as you can. You're in a boat. You have access to a lot more water than they do. Fish the other side of the river as you're going by. If it's a tight river and you can't give them room as you go by, just stop fishing for a minute. It's their water, they were there first. Just look around at the scenery or something. They'll probably ask you how the fishing is as you're going by. Always make something up and make it seem like you're doing better than you actually are. 39 inches all day. All right, now let's talk about anchoring. First of all, don't anchor your boat in fast water unless you want to sink it. That's not really etiquette, that's just how to operate a vessel. If there is a boat that is anchored in fishing, do not anchor immediately below them. You can pull up above them, but the water immediately downstream of a boat on anchor belongs to them. They're gonna fish it when they move on, and if you pull in and anchor up below them, now you're just in the way and they'll have to go around you to leave. I'm not saying you can't anchor near anyone, just give them some reasonable space. Or if you wanna mess with your buddies, yeah, anchor up below them. Now let's talk about boats moving at different speeds. If there is a boat slowly working a bank, do not go around them and start fishing the same bank. That's rude and wrong. If you cut me off on a bank I'm fishing, I'm gonna know right away what kind of driver you are out on the road. Not good. When you're floating a river, don't forget to look around at the other boats, especially behind you. I row a heavy raft and I can't slow down as easily as the guys in drift boats, so I have to do things to keep from running people over. The downstream boat has the right of way and it's up to me to go around you, but you can help me out a little bit just by being aware of the situation. Don't be that guy that I met last week that wouldn't let me pass because he was oblivious to the other boats around him. Some verbal communication helps here too. Don't be afraid to talk to each other. Now let's talk about beaches. I do a lot of family floats and we like to stop at beaches so the kids can play. And we've been encroached upon a bunch of times this summer and I don't like it. If I'm pulled over at a beach where you want to stop, ask first. I'm going to say yes. Don't just pull over next to me and explode your gear all over the beach while your dogs are barking at my kids without even saying hello or acknowledging my presence. That's rude. I was there first. It's my beach until I say it's not. But all you have to do is ask. You can save your comments about how it's public land. You know what I mean. All right, now let's talk about noise. It's okay to be loud, but be respectful of other river users. I like to play music in the boat, but I know that not everyone wants to hear my smooth reggae jams and no one wants to hear pop country. I think we can all agree on that. So play your music, but don't crank it. Also, it's okay to be a little loud on the river, like if you stick a big fish or whatever, but don't be that loud guy in an inner tube that you can hear a half mile away. Nobody likes that. And watch the swearing around my kids, please. Before we finish up, I wanna encourage you to spread this information to other river users. If you see someone violating the rules and you don't like it, say something. But don't be a jerk about it. If no one tells these people they're acting like idiots, they'll never learn. Okay, I'm done preaching. But maybe you notice a theme in all the stuff I just said. And that's think of other people before yourself. Just like in my boat ramp video, and just like in life in general. It's a good way to live. Well, I guess I lost my outro footage, so we're just gonna do it right here on the side of the house. So what etiquette did I miss? If I left something out, leave me a comment down below and let me know. 
or you can tell me that I'm full of it and that you own the whole river. That's fine too. Thanks for watching yet another huge fly fisherman video. If you're new around here, I got tons of videos and playlists and stuff. Like and subscribe buttons are right down there. That's how you can stay connected with me. You can also help support the channel by dropping by hugeflyfisherman.com and buying some gear. That helps me make more videos for you. I'll be back next Monday with another huge fly fisherman video. Go out there in the river and have fun with all the other people and stay huge. Little bit to the right. Little bit to the right. More right. More right. You're going in the same place every time. Do it really far right, dude. No. More to the right. No. Point the rod where you want it to go. Point the rod where you want it to go. You hooked me. Oh man, there's one way at the top. That's our guy. Dude, there's a big fish that is up there grubbing. Okay, ready? Here. He's right in that wave. He's right below that white bubbly stuff. Mm -hmm. Go, bubbly? go, go. Oh, he just ate, did you see that? Good, 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 good. Uh, a little up and left. You were really close. Yeah. Great, 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 great. Here he comes, here he comes. Eat it, set it, yeah! Oh! <laughs> I saw it. Dude, that was such a nice fish. That was a big brown trout. I saw a big eyeball.